I'm Dylan Stevens, and I set up the website for Dr. Barbara Thiering, who had a few published books that were very popular. I wrote a book a few years ago called The Pesher of Christ, and it tells the true story of Jesus and his church. It tells the story from the very beginning and towards the end after he died. And I thought that I would want to bring it to YouTube. It might be more accessible that way. Section 7, 10 p.m. Thursday to 8, 15 a.m. Friday, April 3rd, 33 A.D. Counterplot, Arrest and Trial. Chapter 44, Thursday, April 2nd, 33 A.D., 10 p.m. Garden of Gethsemane. The service was over at 10 p.m. Jesus leaves with the disciples, going over the aqueduct to the Olive Garden, Gethsemane. The plot of Judas is revealed to them, and that Pilate is coming in the morning. As they walk to the garden, Simon says, Pilate has already made it known that he wants Simon Magus and Thutis for sedition. He will certainly crucify both of us. Thetis says, I have a poison that simulates death. By taking it on the cross, Pilate might take us down before we die. Simon says, The three-hour time advance will shorten the time. Let us draw up a plan. He leaves with the others. Jesus, Peter, James, and John, and Jonathan are in the garden. Father Jonathan calls Jesus aside. I'm afraid that your uncle Thetis is too old to survive crucifixion. Would you consider taking his place? Jesus looks faint. Father, do not ask me to do this. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Cannot this cup pass from me? But if it is your will. Turning to the disciples, Jesus says, The soldiers are coming to arrest me for trial. The disciples say, But why would they take you? Jesus says, Remain in your slumbers. Caiaphas wants me dead. Chapter 45, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, Midnight, Passover. The Arrest. The group of soldiers from Caiaphas arrive with Judas, saying, Teacher, and kissing Jesus on the mouth. Jesus says, How is it now that you act as my disciple when clearly you had issues with me? Why did you not speak of them? Peter, seeing James, the brother of Jesus, says to him, I challenge your ability to act in my position as ear and spokesman. It is I who is the ear and the sword of Jesus. James laughs. Better trade your sword for a fishnet. Peter scowls. Not likely. You will be on your knees praying to be rescued again when I cut off your ear. Jesus says, let it go. I must follow my destiny, whatever it may be. Simon, seeing that no one is paying attention to him, starts to run away. James, pointing to Simon, says, soldiers, arrest that imposter. He thinks himself the Pope. But as excommunicated, he is naked. The soldier grabs his linen smock as he struggles to get free. He comes off, exposing his loincloth. They bind Jesus and Simon and take them away. Chapter 46, Friday, April 3rd, 33 A.D., 6 a.m. Trial of Jesus before Ananus and Caiaphas. The soldiers bring Jesus to the court area of the vestry. Jesus says, I request to speak to Ananus first. Ananus arrives and Jesus says, Your grace, why am I being treated like an enemy of Rome? Your son Jonathan is my holy father and I follow his will. Ananus replies, Not when you raise Simon Magus from excommunication. Caiaphas enters, you have become as dangerous as the Baptist. You need to be tried by Pilate for the sake of all our good people. The Sanhedrin has heard witnesses that show that you are guilty of blasphemy and that you will throw down the sanctuary and build it up in three days. Jesus says, Since when is blasphemy a capital offense? 
Caiaphas says, And what do you call claiming that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God and King of Israel? Jesus replies, David's Psalm 110 declares that my position as a descendant of David is the right hand of the power of God in the position next to his glory. And Daniel 7.3 prophesies the Son of Man will come with the clouds of heaven. Caiaphas says this prophecy applies to your brother James, the legitimate David king, not to you. Send him to Pilate at the Praetorium Quarter. Chapter 47 Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 6.30 AM Peter weeps Previously, Peter and Father Jonathan had followed Jesus into the area north of the vestry where the trial was being held. The doorkeeper, Mary Magdalene, whispers, Announce yourselves. They answer, We are the two you know. Oh, Peter, I thought they arrested you too. Peter says, Please be quiet. They might be looking for me. Magdalene answers, What transpired in the garden earlier? Peter replies, James has usurped me. Magdalene says, That does not bode well for Jesus. It was like my dream. Peter walks to the fire pit. Sitting there is Zacharias, the youngest son of Ananus, saying, Jesus is certainly innocent under Roman law. I think I will try to see if Jewish law can save them all. Peter to Zacharias, wasn't that so strange you announcing the midnight call while I at the same second did the cock crowing for 3 a.m.? Josie says, now I understand what Jesus said. You did steal three hours. Peter says, this night is so unsettling. I could weep, but I will just go and relieve myself at the salt. As Jesus is being brought out of the door, Magdalene whispers to him, It was my dream that your brother James would betray you. Chapter 48, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 7 AM, Trial Before Pilate. What is truth? Pilate has traveled by horse to arrive at dawn on the Jerusalem-Jericho Road which is about a 17-mile trip, taking about three hours. He takes a seat at the Praetorium. Pilate says, We have already dealt with that magician person, Simon, who is guilty of sedition. Why is this Jesus being brought in? I have heard that he is also a magician, having raised Simon. Caiaphas says, This is the one we found perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar. Pilate says, I thought Herod Antipas killed John because his wife told him to. Then turning to Jesus, Are you really the king of the Jews? I thought the Jews only recognized their priests. They have no respect for me as prefect. Jesus answers, I am not a king of this world, but a king of the church of truth. Pilate says, How is it possible for a church to be based on truth when all men lie? Pilate leaves to consult with his advisor. Chapter 49, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 7.30 AM, Trial Before Agrippa. Pilate returns, saying, I find no fault with this man, Jesus. Wanting to impress Pilate, Agrippa says, He stirs up the peoples, teaching throughout the whole of Judea, having come from Galilee unto Qumran. Pilate says, Galilee would be under the jurisdiction of Herod Antipas, is it not? Did not your uncle make you commissioner of markets in Tiberias in Galilee? Yes, says Agrippa. Pilate smiles. Good then, he is all yours. Agrippa walks over to Jesus. I am glad to finally meet you. I hear that you can heal the sick and raise the dead. Would you like to perform all these feats of magic for us? Jesus just stares at him. You stand accused of being king of the Jews. 
That is what I will become one day if my friend Little Boots becomes emperor. Jesus just stares at him. You are not showing me any respect. Can one of the Sadducees lend him a crown of thorns, a purple robe, and a pinecone scepter? They dress him up. Behold the king of the Jews. Pilate comes forward and says, Agrippa, you have amused me today. We have been at enmity. We must dine together. Chapter 50, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 7.45 AM. Trial before Pilate, release Barabbas. Pilate asked the people, what shall we do with this king of the Jews? I see no treason here. A third defendant, Thetis Barabbas is brought in. James comes forward. The book of Leviticus, 25, 8-12, states that at seven times seven years at the Jubilee that slaves and prisoners are to be freed. Being that we began the Grand Jubilee in 26 AD when you took office, it would be customary to let Jesus and Barabbas go free. Pilate says, I did not come all this way to crucify one person, but I could respect your law. What does it say about Jesus? James says, The book of Daniel 9.26 states that after 62 sevens, the anointed king will be put to death. Pilate says, I should only crucify those guilty of capital crimes, but I will allow you to choose one to be freed. The king of the Jews or Barabbas? They all shout, free Barabbas. Pilate says, all right, Jesus' blood is on your hands. Chapter 51, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 8 AM, Jews repents too late. Zacharias says, the war scroll number seven declares that there be at least three leaders, Michael, Gabriel, and Serial. You have condemned Simon and Jesus, a Michael and a Serial, but you need a Gabriel. Pilate laughs. Are we crucifying angels or men? Zacharias says, The Gabriel is Judas Iscariot. Pilate says, Bring me this Judas. Judas is brought in. Pilate says, Are you the one that alerted me that the criminals were here? Judas answers, Yes, it was I. I was told you wanted 30 pieces of silver for this. What do you want from me? I only desired to replace the leader Simon. But now, with Thetis released, you have made me responsible for the blood of Jesus, to whom I once swore allegiance. Pilate asks, what does Jewish law say about betraying a fellow comrade? The people shout, betrayal is death, crucify him. All right, I will follow Jewish law again, but don't think I have chopped off my foreskin. The gods take Simon, Jesus, and Judas outside to be scourged and crucified. It is important to note that they, being of priestly status, were not stripped naked, but kept their loincloths. Next is section 8.15 a.m. to 3.05 p.m. Crucified 9 a.m. Third hour, sixth hour. Friday, April 3rd, 33 a.d. The Crucifixion. Chapter 52, Friday, April 3rd, 33 A.D., 8.15 a.m., Carrying the Cross. The soldiers bring Judas, Jesus, and Simon out of the building. First, the soldiers tie the crossbar to the back of Judas Iscariot, pushing him forward, then Jesus, and then Simon Magus. Their path is a short journey south of the Praetorium, just beyond the skull on the ground marking the toilet area called the salt. An onlooker said, Isn't that first person Judas, the one who betrayed Jesus? Another said, I hear the second person Jesus was traded for the criminal Thetis Barabbas, the leader of the therapeutes of Alexandria, Egypt. Isn't that last man his leader, Simon Magus, the one who took John the Baptist's place? I heard he was from the far reaches of Cyrene. I wonder why he was standing in the field. 
not field, but mission. There he befriended Thomas, the deposed Herod called the twin. Having lost his inheritance, like the red-haired Esau to Jacob. Another said, It is amazing that they did not stumble with great weight on their backs. Chapter 53, Friday, April 3rd, 33 A.D., 8.45 A.M., Postponing the Poison. As they were lying on the ground with crossbars still tied to their backs, awaiting the spikes to be driven into their wrists, Thetis gives them all an analgesic to ease the pain. To Jesus he whispers, You could take the poison now and appear to be dead and avoid crucifixion. Jesus replies, No, follow the plan at the ninth hour. It has the best chance of saving my father-in-law, Simon. Here is the signal I will give from Psalm 22. He begins to sing it now. My God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? The spikes are driven in all three wrists, and the crossbars of the two are raised up by pulleys to the already erected posts and fitted into the slots. Jesus is still on the ground. Chapter 54a, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 9 AM. Placed on the cross, 9 AM. Third hour, sixth hour, King of the Jews. Pilate is seated north of the salt next to Agrippa to observe the crucifixion. The centurion approaches Pilate, saying, James, Jesus' brother, tells me that Simon, as the leader, is supposed to be in the center cross. I assume you want Jesus there. Yes, and I want a sign above his crossbar saying, King of the Jews. Agrippa says, May I suggest that king of the Jews is not technically accurate? He was just a prophet. James over there is actually the king of the Jews now, but also just a prophet. Pilate replies, He is not yours to crucify. My king of the Jews is to stay. I want them to see how they humiliate and kill their own kings. After watching for an hour, Pilate is bored and says, I was expecting Jesus to walk off the cross, but clearly he is just a man and not a god. Agrippa says, Pilate, shall we ride our horses down to the Dead Sea? The salt makes it so buoyant that Jesus is said to have walked on water. Going down to the Dead Sea, Pilate tells his soldiers to try to walk on water, but they fall in. Chapter 54b Friday, April 3rd, 33 A.D., 11 A.M. Two criminals talk to Jesus. It is around the eleventh hour, with Pilate still gone and the drugs have worn off, and they groan in pain. The criminal Judas Iscariot on the cross to Jesus' left says, You call yourself the Christ? All your fake miracles cannot save you now. Did peace bring the restoration? The criminal Simon Magus to the right says, Do you not even fear God's retribution for your betrayal? We are both guilty of treason, but Jesus is not. Jesus, I thank you for your loyalty and compassion. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus said to him, Truly I say to you, Today with me you shall be in paradise. Jesus says, and to you, Judas, the fires of Gehenna will be your reward. James's wife, Susanna, comes over to James, sitting alone. James, have you no remorse to have crucified your own brother? Susanna says, can you be trusted to save your brother? Upon my mother's life, I promise. She whispers, here is the plan. Jesus will take poison to make him appear to be dead. You must ask Pilate for his body. If you act quickly, Jesus can be revived in the cave that you are the gardener of. If there is a chance to save my brother, I will do it. Chapter 54c, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 1115 AM. Four Marys and a Possible Son 
Jesus looks down and sees the four Marys crying, saying, My dearest mother of me, and of James and Joses, do not cry. I will conquer death. Mother Mary replies, May you at least go to a better place. Jesus says, Helena, Mother of my beloved wife, I have also saved a place in paradise for Simon. Helena replied, You have a good heart. May you embrace in paradise. Jesus says, Magdalene, my beloved, the mother of him inside your belly, behold your son. I will meet you in the garden of James. And dearest John Mark, please take care of this mother and child. As Magdalene sobs loudly, Susanna says, All is in place. James is sorry. He has promised to help. Chapter 54D, Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD, 12 noon equals 3 p.m. Darkness, time moves three hours. The crier calls out, Sixth hour. Fortuitously, Peter and Agrippa returned at noon time, but the first crier had just called the sixth hour, and all they heard was the ninth hour. The crier calls out, Ninth hour. Pilate remarked, How could that be? Is it that late already? Agrippa says, Let's be seated. It appears that they have been up there for six hours since the third hour, from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m., according to my calculation. Their end should be near. Pilate replies, Perhaps, but I have seen some alive for days. Chapter 54E Friday, April 3rd, 33 A.D., 3.05 p.m., requesting the poison. Jesus sees that Pilate has arrived back and gives the prearranged signal for the poison that will make him appear to be dead. Jesus cries out, My God, my God, why did you forsake me? I thirst. There is a vessel off to the side filled with vinegar and gall. Zacharias runs over with a hyssop stalk with a sponge on top and dips it into the vessel and puts it to Jesus' lip. In a few minutes, Jesus lowers his head and his body goes limp, appearing to be dead. Next is section 9, 3.05 p.m. to midnight, Friday, April 3rd, 33 A.D. The Rescue 